What's up, y'all? I'm running behind on this build, but you know what? I still get about pretty quick. This one should be pretty straightforward. I've done a couple 562s, never a Mark II. This belongs to Mitchell's Backyard Logging. This is a Mark II, 562. Brand new. Brand, brand new. Thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this bucket spike off here before somebody gets hurt. Namely me. And we're gonna take, gonna take this plastic off. Like so I've never even, this is the first one I've touched. Done a couple Mark 1s, never a Mark 2. No decomps in these. I know they put a dish piston in here. We're about to see, we're about to find out what that's all about. Mufflers made a little different. I'm not sure if the mufflers will interchange. I believe they are open cans now. Cross fingers. Well, not exactly an open can. but a lot more manageable than the, the original 562 mufflers. This is built more like the 572 muffler. It's just got a big bubble there on the bottom. We will cut that bubble out. And it'll be good to go. Of course, that gasket would stay on there. I just want to take it off. So I don't damage it when I'm in here working. That'll be for another day. Yeah, these got a big old thick gasket on them. Question is, do you cut the piston to fit the cylinder, or do you cut the squish band to fit the piston? Either one, you're shrinking the combustion chamber. That's facts. Most I've seen cut the piston. I've seen a few guys put Mark I pistons in them. What do I do? Well, as much as I want you guys to answer that, <laughs> you're not going to because. 
This will be done before the videos come out. That's just fast. That's just facts. It's like a 572. Wes is into these huskies right now. I don't know how many he's freaking got. I'm not worried about him needing a saw. I can tell you that right now. You got the baby plug in it. The baby plugs, Grinch.
that's weird. Yeah, where's the other screw at? Went down in the clutch cover. Yep. I said clutch cover, I'm at a recoil. No stuffers. No stuffers. I like that. I'm not a big fan of stuffers. I've got the tiniest ever dish in there. difference. Man, it's going to make a little difference. Not a great amount. Well, I don't know how everybody else is doing it, for sure. I know a few. But, uh, It's got a rubber gasket in it. Oh, that's part of the ga the gasket. That gasket's gonna come off her. That's a gasket, boys. I made some that big before and used them. Wonder. I believe the piston will hit now. That's got a small combustion chamber in it. I don't hit a whole lot, but it hits. And I think the bottom of the skirt, something is hitting. I would say the skirt.
I would say part of the skirt's hitting down there. But we could trim that. I think I am just going to leave that piston like it is. And I'm going to try to cut about 40 out of the band. And, uh, deck it. Well, you can't deck it a whole lot, can you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We may just cut cut it until it fits. see where we're at yeah you ain't got much room to cut the base they, they screwed you with that I definitely screwed you with that gasket yeah I'll, uh, I'll put, I'm gonna put the gasket back on, pull some timing numbers off of it, and see what they changed there. And uh, we'll go from there, man. It's gonna. Ooh. Okay. I think that's where I want to go. I want to cut the piston or cut the squish band so the piston will fit. See how much I get out right there. How much I get out of the band to make that fit. And honestly, it's probably going to be 25, 30 thousands. And if I can do that, and take it to, I can get 10 off this base easy. No problem. Not compromise anything. I like these caps better. They look, they look like they're designed way better than the old ones anyway rambling on gotta get to work later y'all